bringing no dollars, but nonetheless most welcome visitors, some guests of ours reach Cambridge. Bill here from Yugoslavia is one of them. With 30,000 other volunteers from various parts of Europe, he's come to help us get the coal. Tired through travelling on our railway, standing as we do in the corridor, we'll let them dump their bags while we look around. The village seems a peaceful spot, and the camp is not too bad. Most of us have seen far worse. But the languages one hears are legion, and that's the reason for the camp. All can do a job of work, but none can name the motions in our language. This is where they learn. Here's Bill heading a queue. He's learning English habits fast. He's in the right one, too. And to make things easier, the menu's printed in seven languages. Not that it means a lot to some of his companions, for reading was not taught in concentration camps. But there's encouragement in this new atmosphere. A basic ration is the soundest lead to the mysteries of basic English. And to the Coalboard's brave idea of teaching English in the mass, we introduce our guest. Ilich Radojko. Here. Hemola Viktor. Here. I am here. You are there. You are there. We are here. This is a man. That is a man. This is a book. That is a book. I will give this book to him. You will give this book to him. I am giving this book to him. You are giving the book to him. I gave the book to him. You gave the book to him. I gave the book to you. You gave the book to me. 